A Pulwama style terror strike was averted by the Indian Army with the recovery of 52 kilograms of explosives on Thursday in Kashmir's Kareva area, army officials have said. Kareva is not very far from the site of last year's dastardly attack. Army said that the explosives were recovered near the Jammu and Kashmir highway. The explosives were found in a Syntex water tank at Kareva area of Gadikal during a search operation on Thursday morning. There were 416 packets of explosives, with each one of them weighing 125 grams, said an official, adding that another 50 detonators were recovered in another Syntex tank in the area in subsequent searches. Akali Dal's loan minister in the Narendra Modi government, Harsimrit Kaur Badal, on Thursday resigned from the union cabinet to protest the farm bills. Akali Dal chief Sukhbir Singh Badal had earlier on Thursday said in the Lok Sabha that Kaur, who was the minister of food processing, will resign in protest as the government tabled two more farm sector-related bills in the lower house amid widespread protests by farmers in Punjab and Haryana. The SAD had been requesting the centre not to go ahead with the three agriculture-related bills for approval of Parliament until all reservations expressed by farmer organisations, farmers and farm labourers are addressed. Newly elected Rajya Sabha member Ashok Kasti, who was admitted to a private hospital after testing positive for the novel coronavirus, died on Thursday night, the hospital said. According to the hospital, Gusti was critically ill with multi-organ failure and was on life support system. Condoling Gusti's demise, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said he was passionate about empowering the poor and marginalised sections of society. Gusti was elected unopposed to Rajya Sabha in June this year on a BJP ticket. Four days after he was readmitted to All India Institute of Medical Sciences in Delhi after recovering from COVID-19, Home Minister Amit Shah was discharged from the medical facility on Thursday. He had tested positive on August 2nd this year and had recuperated at a private hospital in Gurugram. The 55-year-old BJP leader was earlier admitted to Ames for post-COVID care. With his recovery, Shah may attend the remaining monsoon session of the parliament that began on Monday with COVID safety measures. U.S. President Donald Trump greeted Prime Minister Narendra Modi on his 70th birthday, praising him as a great leader and loyal friend. Prime Minister Modi, born on September 17th in 1950, turned 70 on Thursday. Trump tweeted his wishes for Prime Minister Modi on Thursday along with a photograph of him and First Lady Melania Trump with the Prime Minister at the Namaste Trump event. Trump was among a host of world leaders including Russian President Vladimir Putin, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and German Chancellor Angela Merkel who wished Prime Minister Modi on his birthday. The Imran Khan government is soon going to illegally integrate occupied Gilgit-Baltistan region by making it Pakistan's fifth province. According to Pakistani newspaper Express Tribune, the newspaper quoted Minister of Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan Affairs Ali Amin saying that the government has decided to elevate Gilgit Baltistan to the status of a full fledged province with constitutional rights, including its representation in the Senate and the National Assembly. Ali Amin said Prime Minister Khan would soon visit the region and make the formal announcement in this regard. If you're looking for a sneak peek into the underwater world, look no further than these award-winning, incredible underwater photographs taken across the seven seas. Scuba Diving Magazine's 2020 Underwater Photo Contest, called Through Your Lens, released 13 winning photographs out of over 2,000 entries from across the globe. The winning photo shows 50 remora fish hitching a ride inside the mouth of a whale shark. Some of the other highlights of the contest include the photo of a diver descending into a sinkhole in Mexico, a seahorse in a clump of macroalgae, and a wanderbus octopus. Bollywood celebrities have come out in support of actor Urmila Matondkar after Kangana Ranaut tagged her as a soft porn star in a recent interview. While Swara Bhaskar praised her outstanding performances in Masoom, Chamatka Rangila, Pujaba tweeted calling the actress a legend. Anubhav Sinha, on the other hand, wrote that he finds Urmila to be one of the most beautiful, elegant, evocative, expressive actresses ever. Kangana's remarks came after the Rangila actress in an interview with India Today advised Kangana to first fight against the drug menace in her home state, Himachal.